Brock, you've we've we've talked before. You've been uh, uh, we've been uh, you know talking about about markets on our on our server and other things in in Eve Online. And when I put out the 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 call for the call for uh, submissions for patch your playstyle, you were one of the first people to reach out. And um, so naturally, I'm super excited to to have you on and 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 learn about um, low class wormhole life is that right is, is that what 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 the pitch is called low, low class wormhole life is is a good way of putting it as any i feel uh the low class kind of sums up our corp uh, to a certain extent um, <laughs> high, high class people in low class wormholes right? excellent that that we should probably put that on the branding somewhere but uh yeah we do the wormhole life we we live in a wormhole and we use that wormhole to allow us to connect to different areas of space and uh we we enjoy it immensely and i'm i've spoken to you a little bit about it in the past oz and uh yeah i'm i was really excited to take the opportunity to to do the present your play style because i i think this is definitely something that people may not be aware of that is an opportunity for them to get involved and also following on from Croda's uh, presentation last week like nice. uh, MPSI and Fun Inc are, are top guys yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so and you and you brought a presentation that you you sent to me before and it's um, uh, um, amazingly well organized already so let me uh, let me pull up that presentation uh, for you and then uh, see if that works <clears throat> we're gonna hide this and then we're gonna pull up this let's see look at that look at that yeah, now, it looks like it's working it, it it's it's working uh, and it has animations and uh hopefully you can see it on your end oh, i just like uh, yeah just click it up so it's all that awesome so you guys can see this at home uh kitchen sinkhole that is the alliance dark venture corporation that is the name of the corporation we are a one corporation alliance and originally, the only reason we formed the Alliance was so that we could compete in the Alliance tournament, which I will talk about uh, in a little while if we have the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, we live in a class two wormhole, a vanilla hole, so no special effects. Um, uh, it has a high sec static and a class three static. So for those of you that may not be too familiar with how wormholes work, there are different classes of wormholes, and each of those wormholes will have what is known as static connections. And that are the, those are the wormholes that you can guarantee will be there. So, for instance, if our high security uh, static closes, we can guarantee that there will be another high security wormhole spawning. And by the mechanics in-game, you can roll those wormholes. So you may see that there's a little Jita connection next to our wormhole. Because uh, basically any corp that has a high sec static connection is going to be living pretty close to Jita for the majority of their lives. Uh, so imagine having the opportunity to have a uh, null sec that you live in, but it's only about five, six jumps from Jita if you can be bothered to roll it that close. Okay. Very exciting for a, for a trader like me. Absolutely. Ex-trader, ex-trader. Uh, oh God, I'm still coping with it. I mean, it, like I, I've I've had people who've done trading through the court before, and it definitely gives you opportunities to do like the regional trading. Uh, you know, if you want to move stuff between Amar and and Gita, for instance, make the most of those markups. Uh, definitely a, a good opportunity there. Uh, but that that's just the beginning. Uh, you notice on this slide we've got information about the mining, the gas huffing. Uh, we have industry. Um, facilities set up in our wormhole. We have gas refining uh, facilities set up in our wormhole. So uh, there is plenty of opportunity to make money and to do the manufacturing side of it. I'm also reliably informed that we have a very good PI structure. I, I, I don't dabble in PI myself, but I, I am told the planets we have are very optimal for it. You're keeping your sanity there. Yes, uh, it would just be too much for me to deal with. Uh, and as for requirements, we are very easy to join. Uh, all we are really expecting is for you to be active on the comms uh, and to be involved in our community. We, we want you to be in our fleets, to 
when you make that decision that you're going to log into Eve, we, we want you to do it with us and we want you to be having fun in our fleets and, and fun in our community. And beyond that, we're really not that worried about how many accounts you have or if they're alpha or if they're omega uh, we will be able to make use of anybody who wants to come in and learn the game and I have taken pilots who literally have a couple of days worth of experience if not less taken them straight into the wormhole environment and they have thrived it's it's there is this kind of mythos that you need to do so much time in high sec before you can graduate I, I don't tend to believe it myself but uh, we're on a time limit, so let's move swiftly forward. <laughs> gators. Gators. Gators is kind of the theme, if you hadn't guessed. Uh, in our wormhole, we have what is known as Florida men and Florida women. And the gator theme is strong with us. And uh, part of the activities that we organize uh, are, are revolved around our... our a theme of like being Florida men, being Florida women, uh, and you'll notice that gators will come up quite a lot uh, in our marketing stuff. So this uh, um, image you're looking at right now is uh, ST6. That stands for Siege Team 6. Thank you, Russ. Uh Siege Team 6 is one of the uh, special interest groups that we want, or SIG. Uh, concept of running a SIG is pretty well known in big alliances. It's just a group of people who have a special interest in certain types of gameplay. And Siege Team 6s are eviction specialist group. So what they do is we have a group who will go around and look for targets that are uh, potential, uh, going to bring us content. It's not necessarily about evicting them just because they look like they have money and are inactive. What we're doing it for is the content. We want to see if we poke your structure, whether you'll bring a fight. And if you bring a fight, well, we'll probably leave your structure alone. But uh, what we dislike is all those no-set guys and your, you know who you are who are coming into our wormhole space and setting up your alt corps just so that you can earn some of that sweet, sweet wormhole isk on the side. Yeah, we're looking at you. Uh, the, the gators, the gators are hunting. Okay, so uh, yeah, that is what C Stream Six does. Uh, and then we also have some other SIGs. So we have a Black Ops SIG, and this is some of the marketing for it. Uh, we will run that sporadically. We've got a couple of guys who really like to do the the hunter kind of stuff. So that is uh, another activity you can get yourselves involved in by being in this group. That's uh, a badass skill poster. It is very cool. Uh, it's not too skill point demanding. Obviously, you think Black Ops and you think, oh, well, I, I need skill points uh, to, to be involved in that. You can get in at quite a low level, trust me. And uh, continue onwards. We've also competed in... Compete. We have competed in the Alliance tournament. We have uh, had mixed success. We've been in three of the feeder tournaments basically since it came back uh, after its long hiatus. Kitchen Sinkhole has put forward a team every year. And we've won a couple of matches. We lost a couple of matches. We haven't qualified for the, the, uh, the AT itself, but uh, we will continue to, to uh, attempt to compete. And... We have a very open selection process. Like, we're not looking for highly skilled pilots. We want to make, again, the, 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 the ethos is very important to us, to make it available to newer players. Uh, there is no reason why a pilot with relatively limited skill points can't join in an Alliance tournament team and fly a ship that doesn't require much in the way of, of high skill points but if they've got talent they'll perform well so yeah that's definitely something if you if you want to get into an alliance tournament team and be an e-sport e player then this is a good entrance point for you and you'll learn skills and then potentially be able to join a, a genuinely good alliance tournament team because <laughs> we have we have a bit uh, of the also rounds at this point but uh and please do feed the gators apparently Please do feed the gators. We, we love our content. And then this slide is very important. Uh, this brings it all together, really. Our community is, is what makes DKVC and what makes Kitchen Sinkhole. Uh, mutual respect. Uh, the core of experienced players who uh, want to help guide newer members. 
Uh, I always like to talk to the older pilots who are coming in and say to them, you know, if you're coming into our community, the expectation is that you want to you wanna teach, you want to help the, the new breed of pilots who are coming into this game. Because uh, from my experience, it, it's kind of tough out there uh, t to be a new player coming in, but it's even tougher from the perspective of like, well, I want to help the new players, but where do I even start, right? So we have a community whereby, you know, if you want to help teach, um, you know, come in. If you want to learn, come in. If you are a salty veteran who has 20 years of doing the same thing and wants to learn a new gameplay style, like, maybe we're the option for you as well. <laughs> Excuse me. So uh, feedback, positive attitude, open-minded environment where you're free to express your play style. We don't enforce things on people the clues in the name it's kitchen sinkhole in 90 percent of what we do it's gonna be pick your ship and let's roll with it uh we do run doctrines when we need to and uh, we will teach you how to to run doctrines and how to be a competent pilot in uh, the doctrines that we run but as i said 90 percent of the time is just grab a ship let's go have some fun um, and we have a good structure of officers and people in the corp to be able to, to help with any uh, issues that come up. Conflict resolution is a thing uh, with a very open uh, corp like ours where skill points aren't an issue. Uh, we do take the attitude in our comms to be quite important. We will make sure that it is an open environment and where people will be happy to be and if our comms becomes a place where people are feeling uncomfortable we will step in to to, to deal with that okay so uh another thing that we do is we do a thing called shoot and recruit and shoot and recruit is um whereby if we've come across anyone in one whole space who is uh, in an NPC corp, we will take them out and we will invite them to our uh, Banjo Fight Club, which is our public channel. Uh, and that ha will be like an entrance point for you to talk to us. And we try and introduce new people into the corp. From that. So by joining us, you're joining a strong community. Uh, and let's move swiftly on, because I am very aware of the time was. Okay. Uh, so the next page, services. Uh, you can see here we offer a buyback service. Uh, there we can go into that at great depth with you, uh, but basically we want to run it so that you can be as efficient with your time as possible. We have a mumble server for voice communications and a Discord for out of game communications, pings, etc. Uh, you can also see our Pathfinder, a uh, little image uh, there. If anyone's quite familiar with Pathfinder, yeah, that that is. A snapshot of just a random day. That is not uncommon, and having it even more wide than that and having even more connections is, is, is definitely not uncommon. We value our connectivity. Uh, High-class wormhole guys may value the ISK income from running class fives. What we value is we want to be able to get anywhere where there is going to be content, and we want to be able to get there fast. Okay. And then a little image there about what structures we have in our home hole. You can see that we're well set up for different playstyle types. And if you hit the button, we also run SRP. Yes, we're a new player corp that runs SRP on PvP losses. That is only PvP losses. We do not pay P uh, SRP on PvE losses. <laughs> so moving forward... Uh, we have a couple of stats. I knew I was coming on uh, Oz's show, so, nice. you know... Love it already. Uh, drafts, drafts are a thing. Okay, so this is... I, I have some very clever people in my corp. This is a graph made by one of my guys. He's called Francis the Dutchman. Uh, he is very clever and has managed to pull this information. For, and you will see a little uh, line graph of various wormhole corps. And the number of total kills over time by these wormhole groups in ships that are destroyer-sized or smaller, okay? So it's a little bit confusing when displayed like this, but I think if you press the button, there is a little uh, display. There we go, right? So again, this is like a little bit difficult to comprehend, but you can see here where the bulges are. These are the groups that are like consistently getting those numbers okay so the, the the guys that have got like the 
thin bits. Those uh, they make those numbers on very rare occasions, but the majority of their their kills will fall into the numbers of um, where the bulges are. Uh, and you can see like the, the comparison of the different groups in one whole space and, and uh, the sorts of combat they take uh, part in. But we're pulling up the destroyers here. So this is particularly focused at the smaller ships. If we move on, uh, we're going to be looking at battle cruisers. Uh, so this is oh, destroyers yeah, this again, showing in a one. slightly yeah. different metric. But then if we go on again, we'll go to battle cruisers. Mm -hmm. So this is the sample of one of groups that we were looking at. Um, and this is the ships that they use battle cruiser or smaller ships to kill. And you can see that there are certain groups that are consistently using battle cruisers. And uh, if anyone's going to run back these slides at a slower rate and look into them, you'll see there are certain groups in this uh, set, of, this data set that are very active groups in wormhole space, but they don't necessarily show particularly high on this because they're in high class wormhole space, so therefore they're using battleships and capital ships. So it doesn't necessarily show uh, on the smaller side of it. And so we wanted to pull out information if like, we like to fight with smaller ships. We're not very battleship, capital ship eccentric. That's a high class wormhole space thing. You see here uh, the kitchen sinkhole. Uh, we come out as a very well, dark venture corp in, in this uh, yeah. set of statistics is very much involved in killing lots of small ships consistently month in, month out, um, battle cruiser and smaller. Uh, and then final sort of slides. I'm still looking at the graphs. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Like, please, please enjoy them. But like, I, I didn't make these. Francis the Dutchman, he is an amazing guy. And, and I see uh, his name in chat. So, Francis, thank you. Uh, this is, this yeah, is quite amazing. top stuff. And I, I love, personally, this is my favorite one, the one you're looking at. Because if you look at this one, the Dark Venture Corporation, if you see those pink spots, like, look yeah, at the oh, consistency sorry. there. We, we are killing a lot of stuff every month. Yeah. This summer was good for you. All right. It wasn't bad. Um, and then final little page here. Um, this is, on the right is a picture of my ugly mug. This was me at FanFest uh, at the Land Rome. Uh, and on the left is a picture of that Land Rome. And you can see a couple of our guys in that picture. So uh, the community is, is a huge deal. Um, we want to make people welcome and we want to let you have the opportunity to learn and be active in a, a fun, low pressure PVP community. Like the expectation is that you're going to come on, you're going to be involved in the ops when you want to be. We're not going to be saying oh, well, you have to be at X number of ops. We will come to you when we think your activity is not necessarily good enough to remain in a, a, a wormhole because there there is a sort of safety level there you can't be too inactive if you're living in wormhole space but um yeah we're, we're very approachable and we try and be as reasonable as possible so investigate our community uh kitchen sinkhole dark venture corporation and uh yeah thank you very much oz for uh giving me this opportunity. And uh, if we've got a little time, I'm happy to ask for a few questions. But if you want to get on, that's also cool. No, no, no. We're going to ask a bunch of questions. Um, I, um, I've i been been reading chat as well. So chat, if you guys have questions for Varak, uh, put them in uh, in chat now. Um, I'm just, uh, for now, I'm just seeing your, your Ruckus uh, crew, I think, Varak, uh, taking over chat. But oh, um, God, I'm, sorry. I have, so, I'm so sorry. No, no, that's perfect. I have, I have a few questions on my own. Um, so a lot of people associate wormhole life with, you know, five Omega accounts and, um, and, and, uh, and, and as many characters and, you know, multi-boxing, uh, how, how required would you say is that for low class wormhole life? Absolutely not. I mean, it is purely down to the pilot's personal choice. Uh, from personal experience, I can say, uh, I am one of the few players who has been playing the game for as long as I have that I know about who has only ever had one account. I've been wow. playing on and off since 2006, and I never had uh, a second account. I, I, I role play myself in the game. I am me. 
Uh, and that's the way that I choose to play it. I know there are a couple other people out there who like to play it that style. Um, but I would say in terms of our wormhole group, you do not need more than one, but your you have the option to be as scalable as you want to be. A lot of our guys find that three is a sweet spot, but you know it comes down to like what kind of play are they going to be involved in? Do they want to do like a group rafting thing, or do they want to do a backpack on like one of their PvP accounts, or are they just going to have like a couple of seed or or PI ults? So. There's the whole gambit, and you really don't need more than one character. Uh, like, one alpha account will get you lots and lots of fun. I, I, I agree. I think, um, uh, I mean, I've, I, I've tried it on, on, uh, on a few occasions. I, um, I, do, I do have a lot of Omega accounts, but, um, you know, I, I very much love doing pi um as i think a lot of people don't but i i am very addicted to pi when i do get the opportunity to do so uh and uh, and, and just for that it it's uh, it's a lot of fun and and it's uh, you know it's i think it's it's absolutely not 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 required and mostly um you know if if you want to bother with multiple accounts uh, you you would make enough money to fund them at some point and i i i think you know one thing i always say to people that are asking you know do i need to play eve online do i need three to five accounts i i always think you know go in first with one account find something that you absolutely love to do and only if you then have the feeling oh this could be even more fun with several accounts than do that i i feel like too many people go in way too early and say oh I'm gonna need, you know, I'm gonna need three accounts to. They're doing to be it backwards. And they're not. Yeah, exactly. Find, find, find the thing that you like and that you want to do more of, and and then, yeah, scale yeah. up. Another question from chat is, um, you know, why why is C two wormhole? So I you explained about the the high the high sec static, but uh, other reasons why C two wormholes are good. Uh, I mean, C2 is good for the, the high sec and the C3 connection. There is no reason um, it, it, why you couldn't set up something like what we are doing in another class of wormhole. Um, the dual static is a big selling point for most uh, wormhole veterans. You don't want a single static. You want two wormholes to work with. Uh, anyone who's lived in a wormhole for an extended period of time will tell you that the wormhole you live in matters a lot less than the static connections. That's, that's what you want to be more concerned by. Um, so you could definitely do this kind of style in a class four. Um, I would advise against a class three because class threes only have a single connection. Uh, uh, I like class two because this particular C2 has a high second C3. So the way I think of it is you've got an easy step in or a way in and out for the newer guys. So you've always got that like access to high sec if they, they want to just bail out and mine Veldspar or run a mission. But they've also got that step up to the class three and that is usually a door to wormhole space in general you're going to find class fives from that you're going to find roots into low sec null sec or, or wherever you want to be so it's it's all about accessibility uh, anyone who's lived in high class wormhole space will tell you that one of the banes of their life is the logistics you know it's great making the money but then getting your money back out to to sell it in Gita and get new ships in it can be a real pain in the neck we don't have that yeah absolutely um, Doku Dakar has a good, uh, good question in chat. Um, and that is, I mean, a lot of people go into wormholes and, you know, either they, they have the dream of, you know, uh, being a nomad themselves or being in a very, very small, uh, group, um, owning a wormhole. What's your argument for, you know, we saw in your, your numbers that you are at least from the, from the killing side, a, a rather large group in wormhole space. What's, what's your reason for joining why should people join a large, larger wormhole group like you are? Um, I guess that's a fair question. In, in that um, we are, we have grown to be one of the larger wormhole groups, but we grew that organically. Like uh, I, I've always 
come back to talking about neutral, organic, free-range PvP. We don't like set-up fights. We like to get out there and just see what the wormhole brings. And uh, because of our recruitment and because of like the general attitude, uh, we just got bigger uh, and we continue to grow. Uh, I envisioned that we would have a more of a sort of flow through dynamic in that like some of the older guys would get skilled up and then decide to move on to like some of the big class five names out there or, or what have you. It never really ended up that way. Um, in terms of uh, joining us, yes, we may be a big group, but it's one thing to bear in mind about us is that we are very multicultured. We are multi time zone. We have guys in the Philippines, Australia, America, EU, all over the world. So uh, we're never all online at the same time. Yeah, uh, there's going to be uh, high points in the day where you could get as many as 30 plus people online. And then there's going to be points in the day where there's only sort of like five or six of you about. But there is always going to be at least a few other people around. And then that's that's what you need. If you want to run a multi time zone corp, you've got to guarantee that there's always going to be at least a few people around. And our Australian time zone, obviously, I don't recruit there as strongly. It's difficult for me living in the UK to do that. But even our uh, Australian time zone has enough players to make it a viable active community. Nice. And Rainman Gaming has a good question. If there are dedicated, let's say, PVEers in your corp, how do you manage to share the site spawning in the immediate hole and who decides who takes what? Uh, negotiation. Constant discussion and talking on comms. And uh, basically, if you're going to be part of our community, um, you're going to have to be willing to talk um, because you, you have to have that discussion multiple times a day the amount of mass that is going through our static wormhole we're talking about rolling our our chains three four five if not more times a day uh, so the mass uh, becomes a big issue uh, the sh sharing of sites is less of an issue because there's always more sites out there right it's an infinite loop like if there's no sites in this chain we just roll it and we go and get some more uh, so it becomes less about sharing of the sites and more about sharing of the mass if, if that makes sense. So I hope that answers the question. Yeah, because one, you know, one thing that, that I have learned about wormholes is that for people on the outside isn't always that clear is that most, uh, most corps that are in a wormhole don't, don't really rat or run the sites specifically in their home hole. They have the chain and the longer, ch we saw your map earlier, they have a, a static and a long chain behind it to run the sites in other holes, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Um, any other questions for for Varak here? Um, we've been going for about half an hour, I think, a little bit longer. Other than that, um, Varak. Um, so, people that want to join you, what's the what's the easiest way? What what should they do if they want to to join Kitchen Sinkhole? Okay, so the easiest way to join is to join our in-game uh, public channel. It's called banjo fight club so if you go to your in-game uh, chat channels look for banjo fight club three words uh jump in that channel and one of our recruits will get you uh mm -hmm. if you would rather go straight to our discord i don't know if you've got the capability to like maybe show the link yeah. to that in gamers but um yeah we have a discord please feel free to jump in that uh there is a recruitment channel uh, and we will talk to people there about joining. And if you are like a CEO or um, a sort of Diplo role person within uh, a community and you'd like to, to reach out, contact us about anything in particular, jump in uh, at Varag for a message and I can get you some Diplo roles and we can talk about nefarious wormhole things. Nice. All right. Perfect. Then I hope you, uh, you'll, you'll get swamped with uh with new um with new year recruits um that was i'm uh, looking forward to it man i, not, I really not hope. an intended Sorry. wordplay on the on the swamp uh but uh yeah then uh have a, a safe trip back to florida and uh i there's something i i have to i, I uh, microwaving tea comes up in chat rock talk about microwaving yeah. tea what what's up with that 
okay, I think it's time for me to leave now. I'm <laughs> going to head back to my swamp. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Thank you All for right. having me. <laughs> All right. Bye, Varag. Cool. All right. So that's um, that's low low class low class wormholes. Very good.